What are you doing here? Checking up on a rumor. Marvel fans have witnessed many teams as of now in the cinematic universe from Avengers in Phase 1 of the MCU to the Guardians of the Multiverse in the What If series. We have seen superheroes team up to defeat those singularly menacing big baddies. Marvel has got much more to explore. From this reservoir, today we'll explore the members of Alpha Flight, a team of Canadian superheroes. Before we get to it, first you need to know about Department H. A department of the Canadian government, the main purpose of Department H is to look after superheroes and everything related to them. Like most powerful things, it started as a research and development program under the guidance of James Hudson, who worked earlier at Amcan Oil Corporation, but left the company as his designs were being sold to the American military. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you and let's begin. Alpha Flight, how it all began. Well, it usually starts with an idea. And so it began with James Hudson looking at an article in the newspaper about how Reed Richards, aka Mr. Fantastic, had formed his team, Fantastic Four. Hudson had an idea for a Canadian counterpart. With the help of Wolverine, he assembled a team of superheroes under Department H, which came to be called The Flight. The initial members of The Flight were Wolverine, whom we all know too well to introduce, Stitch, a mutant who could psionically manipulate metal, Saint Elmo, a god with superhuman strength and the legendary keeper of the Northern Lights, Snowbird, aka Narya, the daughter of Nelvana, the goddess of the Northern Lights, Smart Alec, an arrogant super genius, and Sean Bernard, the man who wore the groundhog armor. However, the team failed miserably only in their first mission against Egghead, aka Dr. Elias Starr, who was launching a nuke in New York City. Though they managed to defeat Egghead, St. Elmo lost his life as he took on the nuke himself. They were not equipped to work together and failed to work effectively. This made Hudson rethink the whole structure of the flight, so he made levels. At the first level, the superhero would be a part of Gamma Flight, which would be a training group. The good performers would climb into Beta Flight, a transitional team for advanced training. The successful members of Beta Flight would be placed into the final team responsible for major missions, the Alpha Flight. The Alpha Flight went through a lot of ups and downs throughout their association with the Canadian government and then without their funding. However, it proved to be a formidable team and many of their battles against Great Beasts, Omega Flight, and even the X-Men to list a few. Let's explore the main members of the Alpha Flight, their story, their powers, their role in the team, and some other stuff. Guardian, aka James Hudson. Backstory. From Ontario, Canada, Hudson spent his young years as an employee at Amcan Oil Corporation, where he developed a high-tech suit for underground oil exploration. However, he later learned that the company was trying to sell his suit designs to the United States military. This enraged him, and he resigned from the company. Later, he sought aid from the Canadian government, and he was invited by the Prime Minister of Canada to lead the newly formed Research and Development Wing, Department H. Married Heather McNeil, formed the Team Flight, failed, restructured the whole system, formed Alpha Flight, and reluctantly ended up becoming the team leader as Guardian, donning his advanced high-tech suit. Powers Hudson was a brilliant engineer. He was a formidable hero with his suit and good hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. His suit provided him with superhuman strength and durability, the ability of supersonic flight, the power to shoot electromagnetic beams, body armor, and the power to lift things with his graviton beam. He could also interact with computer systems. Later, the suit and the man became one, as it fused into him, turning Hudson into a cyborg. Hudson also gained enhanced stamina as his sweat was converted into electrical energy by an electroosmotic reaction. North Star, aka Jean-Paul Bavier. Backstory. Bavier became an orphan as an infant when his parents were killed in a car crash. But with Bobier, things got worse. His adoptive parents were also killed when he was six. He ended up in a foster home when he met Raymond Belmont, a regular shop owner who took Bobier under his wing and helped him through his powers and his homosexuality. Jean-Paul left Belmont and joined a circus as an acrobat in France. Later, he returned to Quebec and joined a radical separatist movement. When he discovered the group's terrorist activities, he left them and stopped a bomb on a bus. He had a passion for skiing, which made him pursue a career in it, and his power of speed helped him excel at the Olympics. Powers After gaining popularity as a sports star, Jean-Paul was contacted by James McDonald Hudson, who claimed to have met his twin sister, Jean-Marie. Jean-Paul was intrigued to meet his sister he never knew he had and joined Department H as a member of Alpha Flight named Northstar. 
He was a difficult member of the group due to his abrasive personality. He was also against Jean Muddy's relationship with Sackwatch and eventually left the group after a fight with her. But he joined the team on a mission as an unofficial member of Alpha Flight. Jean-Paul can generate light when he's in contact with Jean-Marie. Together, they can generate light equivalent to a lighthouse beacon. He also possesses a superhuman speed ability with above-average human reflexes. North Star also has the power of flight and can hover himself in the air. Nemesis, aka Heather McNeil. Backstory. Heather grew up with six siblings. Her family was a neighbor to the two young men family. Their daughter Elizabeth was like a younger sister to Heather, who eventually moved in with her family after her father Michael Two Young Men went for a retreat. He later became the mystical hero Shaman. To support her family, Heather took a job as a secretary to Jerome Jackson from the Am Can Petroleum Company. She was only 17 years old at the time. There she met one of the research scientists, James Hudson. Hudson resigned from the company because his invention, a cybernetic suit for geological exploration, was to be sold as a weapon by Jackson. Heather came to know of it and also resigned, joining Hudson. The two of them were attracted to each other and got married. Heather and James approached the Canadian government's Department H with a plan to create a superhero team with the help of Hudson's invented suit. This is how Alpha Flight was formed. Powers As Nemesis, Heather has a wireless sword called Skell. This sword grants her special abilities such as teleportation to a desired place and superhuman durability, which protects her from fatal injuries. Aurora, aka Jean-Marie Barbier. Backstory Jean-Marie is the twin sister of Jean-Paul and was separated from him after their parents died in a car accident. She grew up in Madame Dupont's School for Girls, a strictly religious school. She was an extremely anxious and introverted kid with suicidal thoughts. When she discovered her mutant powers of flight with the teacher's sister Anne, thinking this power was given to her by God, she was severely disciplined. Being a hyper-religious school, her powers were called blasphemy. Due to this incident, her dissociative identity disorder was born and she had to deal with this for the rest of her life. Her one personality was the repressed, introverted, proper woman and the other personality was her uninhibited extrovertness. When she left school, she learned of her acceptance as a school teacher. Her extroverted personality was full of joy. She was then attacked by the muggers whom she dealt with her powers. Wolverine noticed all of this and advised her to go to James Hudson. He also noticed the resemblance with Jean-Paul. She then joined the Alpha Flight as Aurora. Powers When in physical contact with her brother, Aurora can generate huge amounts of light. She can generate calming light, concussive blasts, and lightning. Just like her brother, she too has superhuman speed, heightened reflexes, and flight abilities. Being a mutant, Aurora has an enhanced metabolism which helps her heal the wounds immediately. She also has enhanced durability and is invisible to technological detection. Snowbird, aka Narya. Backstory. Narya is one of the most ancient members of the Alpha Flight. Her origin is traced back to the times when the mystical great beasts were battled by the Inuit gods of the North to decide the fate of the world. Eventually, both groups were exiled from Earth, but the Inuit gods wanted an agent who could prevent the return of the beasts on Earth. So Nelvana, goddess of the Northern Lights, mated with the human. The birth of the child was assisted by Michael two young men, who then bound the child with a Canadian land. The child was a girl named Narya, and if she were to leave Canadian borders, she would weaken. Michael Two Young Men raised Narya as his daughter. She was later given the human identity of Anne McKenzie, an RCMP records officer. In Alpha Flight, Narya was recruited as Snowbird. Powers Snowbird is capable of shapeshifting. She can change her shape into the form of any animal in Canada and the Arctic. She can also fly without having to change her form. She creates a healing aura around herself that helps her to heal quickly. Snowbird has superhuman strength and can lift weights up to 10 tons. She can take on the strength of the animal she transforms herself into. She also possesses the power of postcognition, which means she can see in the recent past. With her mental ability, she can compel others. Since she is a mystical creature, Snowbird can sense any mystical activities and creatures from various places. Fang, aka Akihiro. Backstory. We all know Wolverine is a man of generations. Akihiro was the son of Wolverine from his Japanese wife, Itsu. He had a violent birth as his mother was killed by the Winter Soldier in 1946, and he was literally cut out of the womb by an ancient mutant warlord, Romulus. Despite the adversity, Akihiro survived as he had inherited the healing factor from the Wolverine himself. Akihiro grew up with an affluent and young couple, Akihira and Natsumi. 
His growing years were hard, despite growing up in a wealthy family. He was referred to as Dokken, a word used to humiliate him for being a mixed breed. He had a disturbing encounter with his adopted parents, which resulted in their death. This is when Romulus, the mutant warlord, returned and took Akihiro under his shelter. He was sent to Canada, and he trained under Silas Burr. After his training, as ordered by Romulus, Akihiro destroyed the training camp and everyone. However, Romulus saved Burr, who later went on to become the Cyber, the only person that the Wolverine himself was afraid of. Akihiro lived his life as Dokken, pursuing his father under the misapprehension that he had killed his mother. He formed the Mongrels, a group of children of Wolverine, and faced Wolverine himself many times. However, later he learned about the manipulation of Charles Xavier and went on to stab Romulus and export him to the Dark Dimension with the help of his father. Later, Dokken became Fang after he had joined the Marauders, a group of mutant raiders who rescued mutant refugees. As Fang, later, he joined the mutant faction of Alpha Flight. Powers Akihiro has similar powers to his father Logan. He has the regenerative healing factor, which helps him regenerate cells and recover quickly. He possesses enhanced agility, enhanced stamina, peak human strength, and enhanced immunity against diseases and foreign chemicals. His senses like smell, taste, hearing, and vision are enhanced. And obviously, he possesses a set of retractable bone claws, two between the skin of the first and third finger, and the third claw from the inner wrist. He is also a trained martial artist and a good tactician. He is also an expert hunter and tracker, a skill he found useful in tracking Wolverine. Puck, aka Eugene Judd. Backstory, Eugene was born in 1914. He was an incredible athlete and a giant man who hunted his first bear at eight. That bear sustained his family throughout the winter. In pursuit of an interesting life, he became a mercenary specializing in the supernatural. He sought the Black Blade of Baghdad in 1939. He was attacked by Black Razor, a being that possessed the blade. This spirit increased his lifespan and strength, but also made him much shorter and caused him great pain. Judd traveled the world as a mercenary and even fought with Wolverine on the opposite side. Eugene, who started calling himself Puck, was in prison for a murder. After spending years in prison, James Hudson released him and offered him to join Department H. Puck agreed and went under training, but when Department H was shut down, he joined the Alpha Flight. Powers Puck's cellular structure was genetically manipulated which made his body similar to a compressed rubber. He also has superhuman speed, superhuman strength, and superhuman durability like his fellow Alpha Flight peers. Being an excellent athlete, he is also agile and has superhuman reflexes and stamina. His lifespan is also extended by the Black Razor and he can temporarily put himself in a death-like coma. Shaman, aka Michael Two Young Men Backstory Michael was born from a great line of Sarsi mystics. However, he was not interested in learning his grandfather's art, so he went on to become a surgeon. When his wife Catherine felt extremely sick, he tried finding a cure but couldn't help her and she passed away. His daughter Elizabeth was upset at him and she moved in with their neighbors the McNeils. Michael wandered in the wild and came across Nelvana, the goddess of the Northern Lights. She was to deliver a child and he helped her in the birth of her daughter Narya. Nelvana left her daughter in the Earth Realm and Michael raised her as his own. When Heather and James met Narya and Michael, they invited them to join Alpha Flight. Michael joined the team, but only partially because he was concerned for young Narya's safety. He chose the name Shaman for himself and started using his medical and mystical abilities. Powers Shaman is skilled in sorcery. He was a powerful trained magician and was introduced to Sarsi sorcery, nature-based magic, at a young age. He learned other forms of magic but stuck with Sarsi. Through his magical abilities, Shaman can perform alter appearance, astral projection, healing, exorcism, illusion casting, weather control, teleportation, restoration, energy manipulation, time travel, flight, telepathy, and size alteration. He can also trigger people's phobias, commune with spirits and animals, and use several totems. Marvelous Verdict At first, Alpha Flight would seem like a version of X-Men, which is true to some extent, but there are different sets of characters with different stories and powers hailing from Canada. Having such great characters with extensive individual plot lines in movies would be wonderful to watch. Comic fans have been waiting to see their favorite Alpha Flight characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, teaming up with a fan favorite Wolverine. The possible reboot might give us some hope. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.